Well, good morning, YouTube land. We're back. As uh, some of you following along know, I took a bit of time off of the Cougar. Or Cuda. Cougar. Cuda. Barracuda project to do a bathroom in the house. Uh, took a couple weeks, but I lost three weekends on the car. And lost a lot of uh, focus, I guess. I just don't know where to start on this thing. I think... I left off, I'm gonna actually watch my video again just to make sure, but I left off with hood and fender alignment, which I'm happy enough, I got enough gappage here, I'm gonna blow this thing apart and uh, start working on the bodywork on that section. Uh, I gotta do this door though still, uh, that was that mystery, uh, why is it an inch thick at the bottom and not at the top, but uh, we'll figure that out. I got the light in there now. It's actually uh, the inside of this fender, if you can see it. It's pretty good. Or it's just not a fender, it's a door. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Got a whole pile of parts landing. Still just a lot of bushings and stuff. I got the tail lights and uh, oh, a couple little lenses and stuff like that. There's still a lot more big stuff coming. We got a new dash coming for it. We're going with the, uh, the go wing tail, uh, vinyl top. A lot of stuff still lay at the land, but uh, I, I know I got to get this door off, so I'm gonna finish taking the chrome off it and disassembling all the little hardware pieces, put them away, label them. I've been trying to keep track of stuff, driver side, you know, passenger side, because that would really mess me up putting it back together if I didn't know what went where. But we're back on the Cuda, guys. That's uh, the main focus here. We're gonna finish taking this stuff apart. Um, I'm hoping to get some. Uh, sand and going this weekend because other than that door which could be a mystery could be a well it's probably gonna be just as bad as the other side uh should be flying bondo here by tomorrow afternoon see ya sorry guys i've been remiss in hitting the record button uh we're chugging right along here uh Besides working on the door, which I am, uh, trying to do two things here. Uh, making up a patch for this area. I don't know if anybody remembers, this was kind of rotten up here a little higher, so it really wasn't anything for the lip to weld to. And I had this, uh, I had a few advice, instead of putting lead back in here, was just to weld a piece of metal right across that, and treat it like a patch, and then just level it out. It won't be as much filler that way. So I needed to make a patch here anyways. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm uh, just creeping up on it. Uh, like I've said before, if anybody, most of you guys know this better than I do, but uh, there's some guys out there that uh, were asking about cutting patches. Start off with my uh, cereal boxes. Get a rough air idea, and then I just use a grinder to whittle away. Like you can see, that bottom's too long still. So I'm just uh, whittling away the edge there until it fits in there nicely. Other than that, we're working on the door. The door wasn't so bad. Uh, the lip on the back side here was pretty rotten. I uh, fixed that up with a little bit of fiberglass there, resin. Just pitted kind of thing. I ground it all down. So that'll smooth out. Once again, no one's going to see it. Uh, it's got to be stripped down multiple colors like everything else on this car. I uh, redid the filler. I cut it all out. Uh, there was some pretty... Uh, they're patches. They were good patches. They were solid patches. They just kind of did them thick. They had laid the metal over top of the other metal. So I kind of hammered them down to try and get the profile a little bit thinner here. Because that was just huge. It was too much. So... The patch was good though, it was a solid patch, good metal, it wasn't rotten or anything, it was just too much filler. So, that's what we're up to now, living in a crowd of dust here, ball of dust or whatever. Uh oh, got a light out. Anyways, I'll get back, battery's going dead on this. It's uh, Saturday evening, pitter patter, let's get at her. Okay guys, there we go. Grinder's making me look pretty good. Uh, I think I'm making a little difference. Anyways, I'm happy so far. No major warpage. 
Uh, I got a couple more spots down here to fill in. A couple of pinholes here and there. But other than that, that's never going to flex. It's never going to crack. Good idea. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. The other side will only consist of about a one inch patch though. So that should be pretty nice. It's got a little, little divot going on there for a place for to put a little bit of uh, rock solid filler in there. Yep. Didn't get back to the door yet. That's all. See ya. Okay, there's my view. We're multitasking here. We got the fender on the go. Got a coat of uh, Dura glass, I guess you guys call it. Long hair, strand, fiberglass, waterproof resin. Got that on there, knocked it down. Uh, did that while this was curing. Uh, put a skim coat on the center of the door. Got the bottom done already. Working on the center. And I'll go to the top. Just like I did the other door. Uh, right now, in between sanding, taking breaks, I'm working on this fender here. I gotta get this seam welded in and filled. But right now I've got a pretty major gappage, I would call it. And that's due to the rocker done a little bit of exploratory surgery here. I'm pinched against the rocker, but the rocker itself can go in a little bit. It's not going to hurt it any. It's just, uh, I'm going to push that forward enough like that. So it'll give me the straightness I need. Anyways, I'm talking silly, goofy. I've been going at this since about 5 o'clock this morning. It's about uh, 6 o'clock at night right now. So, we're going to keep going. Got a lot of catching up to do. We're blocking out, getting ready to fill some epoxy on these fenders too. I'm hoping that they won't need a uh, skim coat. They're solid, obviously, but uh, I mean, I'm seeing wrinkles, which you're gonna get as a stamp steel. So I'm hoping just uh, a nice heavy coat of epoxy and then uh, some of that polyfill that I used on the other door. Uh, that's gonna, I think that's gonna work if I need maybe three quarts to do the whole car just the fenders anyways babbling gotta go bye okay morning Sunday morning back out in the garage uh, I think we left off pretty much where we left off there I've been fitting this lower end of the fender here trying to get it to tuck in so that it's level with the rocker. I put a little cut there and there. It seemed like the fender itself. It's an aftermarket fender. We know they're not perfect. I'll put a little slice in it right there. Same on the back side. That tucked it in tighter. I did a little surgery on the uh, inner because the inner wasn't allowing it to come in either. Uh, the rocker itself was not going to move. I put. Uh, I tried tugging on that. As it shouldn't move, it is the frame of the car. So. What I did was I sliced that, did it overlap, I can weld that, grind it down. You know I'm going to see that in there. And that made it the uh, inner able to tip in a bit more. It's able to get a little bit straighter. I don't have it in there pinned yet, but uh, lessen the gap quite a bit. I don't want to weld that in just yet until I get the door on. Because uh, I think I might have to move that backwards just a hair. It's tipped like this now, so I think it needs to be squared up because it was tight on the door. But let me get the door done and on before I commit to that, right? Alrighty. Uh, threw a wipe on the uh, top half of the door. Finished sanding the bottom, or the center, I guess you'd call it. Uh, that's where we're at. Yeah, this is just starting to skim over. Let's go! Okay guys, got a question for you out there, all you body man that know what they're doing. I've uh, stripped the door, uh, skim coated the whole door basically. Basically it's been blocked out in 80. Uh, I ran over it quick with the DA. Um, my plan was to use polyester filler, right? That's what I did on the other door. But I think with the other door I sprayed the whole thing with epoxy. And then I had to more or less sand the epoxy off with 80 grit so that the polyester would stick. So, 
my question is, do I spray the door with epoxy, then the polyfill, or do I just can I just put the polyfills directly over top of the filler and then epoxy the whole door afterwards, or do I not waste my time with epoxy over top of the uh, spray filler? Because that then I'd just go to 2K primer, I believe, and I'd be in the 180 stage at that point. The uh, Epoxy is kind of uh, rough. I know I want to get the back side and everything in epoxy, but is the outer surface that important? Should I seal the whole thing with epoxy first? That's my question. Kind of like because I've got bare metal and whatnot, I probably need to do the whole thing with epoxy first. Anyways, I won't be painting it this weekend because it's too cold outside. So, uh, your responses are important to me. Uh, by the time you see this tonight, I will be thinking about it all week until next weekend. So that's where we're going to leave you today. Well, no, not, I'm going to put the door back on the car because i got to get the fit going with that back fender so I can finish my welding. But uh, get back to me. Thanks, guys. Well, here we are at the end of another weekend. I've been told by my wife she's cooking dinner. And if I'm not in within the hour, I don't get it. No. I'll get it cold is what I'll get. So, we started sanding down the E-coat. various places. Got to get all that stripped down to bare metal. Get the whole car stripped down. Hopefully by next weekend I can shoot epoxy. And you guys can answer my question about the door. I'm probably going to, consensus is, I probably got to strip all the other paint off and everything else to do the epoxy. I don't know. I, I think the paint's pretty solid. That pink paint's pretty good. But uh, I'm just, I don't know, just sanding, 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 sanding. That's your update. That's your Project CUDA for this week. Uh, that's about it. I got to get that light fixed over there. I think I need a few extra lights on the other side there. It's getting pretty dark. So anyways, we will uh, we'll see you when we see you. Next week, hopefully she warms up a little bit outside. It's nice out there now, but it's still only about 30 degrees outside. When you turn the fan on, it drops down pretty fast. we got a lot of bare metal in here, so we're probably going to keep the heat on all week. And uh, keep it nice and dry in here. So until we see you next week, have a good one.